Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today I'm going to show you a little bit of JFK Reloaded. Uh, this is a very controversial game. Obviously, uh, this is going to be a pretty violent episode, so this is probably not one for the younger guys out there, guys and gals out there. Um, what this game is, is a historical reenactment sort of allowing you to play the role of Lee Harvey Oswald and shoot JFK, and it it's it's tough to even like I you know my position on violence I mean if you've watched some of the other episodes I'm not a huge fan obviously and I don't condone the taking of anyone's life but this is just a simulation uh, and it's although it's fairly realistic it's not as graphic in some ways as you may expect I mean this isn't like Call of Duty graphics is not like people's heads exploding uh, but it does have fairly realistic physics and ballistics uh, although I've heard those are criticized as well so uh, maybe a lot of people take a lot of different things about uh, from this, but I thought that the marketing of it was really interesting in the way that they used this uh, sort of like a contest to prove conspiracy theorists wrong or right. Uh, so I guess I'll just get into it and show you, and, and again, violent stuff here, so, you know, just be careful uh, if that stuff's not for you. Uh, so options menu, there's all kinds of options, yeah. Uh, I set all the settings to as high as they go and everything, and I did turn the blood on. And now uh, let's start it up. And uh, obviously this is not a political show by any means. I'm not trying to make any statements whatsoever. This has absolutely nothing to do with anything going on in politics at the moment. Uh, just happened to be a game on my list that I wanted to show and it just happened to come up. So that's really all it is. So there's our setting. And here we are. And we can see the motorcade, motorcade approaching. And our goal is to try and match what was set up by the Warren Commission, uh, the, the findings, the results, as closely as possible. And I, I didn't really study this or anything, so excuse me. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but I believe we're supposed to shoot him like from behind. Uh, and I think there were three shots. You know, I kind of feel horrible doing this. <laughs> Uh, for the sake of reenactment, it's kind of interesting. So, I just want to sort of show you what happens after you fire this shot. You get a replay. And you can actually mess with this quite a bit. It's certainly morbid. I, and watching someone get shot a whole bunch of times is not really my cup of tea. But, again, if you can uh, appreciate it for what it's trying to do here like the bigger picture other than just shooting a guy. And if you're one of those Grand Theft Auto fanatics that takes pleasure from causing lots and lots of chaos, I imagine you could get into that as well. Uh, but that's kind of another thing. So you can change a whole bunch of different views, and there's even a uh, bullet cam, which is pretty wild. When you fire this thing, it actually goes and tracks the bullet through. Yeah, so like through all the meat and stuff, which is pretty creepy and then lodge itself somewhere. So yeah, that's the idea of that. So when I click exit, it's gonna recap what just happened here. Oh, I'm actually controlling. Okay, so you can see the path that the bullet took through his back, through the seat, looks like through his back, and then ends up in her foot. Oh, it actually spells it out in the corner there. And you can take as many shots as you want, but I believe it was three shots fired in the actual incident. Uh, so hit JFK in the heart and killed him. Wow. First shot. Exited JFK's chest, hit the presidential limo, hit the governor in the lower back, exited the go governor's left side, hit the governor's wife in her right toes, exited the governor's wife's right toes. It's scarily specific, to be honest. Um, and then there's a checklist about how close you got. That was actually surprisingly good for... <laughs> The summary of casualties, anyway, it's saying surprisingly good about shooting someone through the heart, jeez. Pardon my insensitivity, um, again, not trying to make any statements here. I'm going to uh, drop the pretense a little bit. I mean, you, you can tell I'm trying to tiptoe around this, and, and I do want to be sensitive to it, but at the same time, it's like, we're just looking at this like a historical reenactment, so I'm going to be a little bit more callous about it going on from here. Hopefully you get the idea that I'm not trying to be a jerk to anybody. 
So, yeah, so each time you get a shot at it, or as many shots as you like, and then you can just retry it over and over again. And if you want to be a huge jerk, you can just, like, shoot out people's tires. Oh, I didn't even notice. So their reactions are not exactly the best. Man, you can't actually shoot out their tires, can you? I just want to blow their tire out. It's not going to happen. I think I got the driver at the last second. Yeah, so, uh, Havoc and Chaos commence. Surprisingly large amount of bullet drop on that sniper rifle. I thought this was a higher caliber than that. Or, uh, you know, a bigger punch, anyway. So they've got their pistols. They have no idea where I even am. Yeah, okay, that's still pretty violent. You can actually see a bullet wound in his head. I was actually gonna... Yeah, I shot his gun away from him. Shoot his foot. I missed. This guy is just oblivious. I missed again. So you can go frame by frame, which is pretty wild as well. Very, very careful controls on this. Wow, they just went off-road, didn't they? Oh, jeez. That's, I know that's not funny, but, like, the ragdoll physics kind of made me laugh a little bit. Wow. That's not good. And if I remember correctly, I didn't actually shoot any of them, right? I just shot, uh, their front of their car a little bit, and they just totally lost control. You'll probably get a better view on that. Just veered off. Like, oh, maybe I did mess up his wheel, actually, after all. It just wasn't showing, like, in the model. Wow, where's this guy going? Also, weren't there a whole bunch of innocent people just, like, laying around in the grass and stuff? Or is that them over there? Oh, no, that's... Th oh, jeez, that's the whole family splayed out across the grass. Okay, um... So, yeah, I got a whole bunch of shots to go over on this one. whole bunch of crappy shots because I was just messing around. Ricocheted, went in the air. It's pretty amazing that it breaks down each and every bullet for you. And it's also creepy how specific it is when you actually shoot them. I imagine if you're interested in forensics, like, this could be kind of an interesting thing. The presidential limo became lodged and nobody noticed it at that point. The limo driver in the upper back and... Oh, that's probably what made them go crazy. Alright, so I did actually shoot the guy. I forgot. Exited the limo's driver's left side, hit the presidential limo, became lodged. So you can see after it exits someone from the line turning red, if I can get a good angle. Yeah, there it is. Now are they looking? I think they're just looking because they're looking. I thought maybe they were looking for the ang- or where the bullet came from. And then that one's just way the hell away. <clears throat> Smashed a vehicle, hit a dignitary in the chest, exited a dignitary's upper back, hit a vehicle and became lodged. It's uh, quite a thing, and you'll notice everybody's missing from the car now. I guess it actually really does break it down by the timeline. Knocked an officer's helmet off, hit an officer in the head, smashed a vehicle. It kind of paints a different picture than you usually see bullets depicted in. They become more uh, weighty, you know, they, they have a path, like a trajectory, and it causes all kinds of collateral damage that you didn't normally intend. <clears throat> I think from playing a lot of the games that we play, you know, first-person shooters that are very fire and forget, you sort of lose the impact of what a bullet can really do to somebody. Hit the scenery and ricocheted, went in the air. Oh, we didn't get to see the one where it knocked the cop's pistol away. And then you can save your full analysis. Uh, did I mention before what they were trying to do is when you finished a run of this, it would let you upload your score. And the goal is to try and match that report as closely as possible. And if you did it really, really well, you would compete with other people trying to prove this theory correct or not correct. So I thought that was kind of an interesting idea. Never really seen a game framed like that before to like almost use to crowdsource a conspiracy theory. 
I want to shoot something that's maybe less impactful. Shoot that guy's tire out. Well, nobody cares about that. I don't even know what I'm trying to do at this point. somebody in that one. Super ultra slow-mo. <laughs> That's really cool the way it bounces around like that. I wish it went a little bit slower though. No, I wanted to see... All the way back. Thought I framed a shot towards the beginning. Yeah, see that's pretty cool. It actually goes through all the layers and like the metal and everything. Ugh. That's nasty when it goes through everybody like that. Jeez, imagine if they did something like this with a really, really realistic looking engine. The situation is we have no information. Mr. Bromley Smith is back here in the situation room now. We are getting our information over the tickers. Over. So went through the window, hit him in the knee. Looks like it bounced a bit, went out his thigh. Jeez, you can really do a lot of damage with just one bullet. Pretty wild. I'll do one more and then I think we'll wrap this one up. To do the absolute insane anarchist run where we just shoot everybody. You know, that's been done a few times by now. Oh, wow, I didn't really hit that many that time. It went through a lot of people. And ricocheted off the road and went up into a building. What was he trying to accomplish on the back of that car? That seems more dangerous than anything. Is he gonna really. Oh, whatever. And then there's like actual, I think, radio broadcast from the incident playing in the background during this point. That's been JFK Reloaded, uh, definitely a morbid game, uh, very controversial, and for those of you out there who are interested in that and want to mess around with it, I imagine you could get a few minutes of entertainment. Uh, it is completely free, so there is that. And I believe there was talk that there's an unofficial patch or a mod or something that improves the ballistics of the game even more, uh, which, you know, that is kind of a point of contention if you're trying to make a serious, like, forensic proof from this thing, you need the ballistics and the physics to be as close to accurate as possible, or you're going to have a really tough time proving anything factual then, because uh, immediately people are just going to fall right back on that as an issue. So I think the proof, or the, not the proof, the theory behind it is kind of interesting, uh, and looking at it, again, like a historical thing, it's an interesting idea in a lot of ways. Um, not something I'm going to indulge in much longer. I mean, I think I'm probably never going to play this again after today, but 
Uh, I did want to show you guys because at least there are some interesting things about it, and hopefully you guys will appreciate it in one way or the other. Uh, and those of you out there who just want to cause havoc, well, there you go, a sniper rifle simulator with uh, semi-realistic ballistics. So, maybe that does it for you, I don't know. It creeps me out every time you see the bullet go through everybody. But again, it's like I'm not... I, I don't like looking at violence when it's portrayed in a realistic manner. If it's over-the-top crazy first-person shooter violence, like stuff like Bulletstorm, it doesn't even bother me. It's just like, whatever, this is all fictional, silly stuff, but this is based on actual events that really happen with real people, with real lives. So, I mean, that's all. I'm not going to go off on a, another tangent about it. I just wanted to say that there's a, a definite contrast that happens when it comes to violence in video games for me. But it's not all about me, it's about you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you check out the website, which is www.indie-impressions.com. I post every night's video there. You can sort them by genre and distribution method. I also have forums available and all kinds of other stuff on there, so feel free to check it out. And then the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash indie impressions. Feel free to stop by if you want to get a little bit of indie goodness in your Facebook feed. Uh, all you need to do is leave a like on that. Then there's at Rockley Smile and at Indie Impression on Twitter. And if you want to get in contact with me for any reason, uh, just hit me up on Twitter at Rockley Smile. You can send me game suggestions, chat, just talk about whatever's going on. I'm happy to talk to you. And uh, that's pretty much it. So make sure you stop back again tomorrow for another episode because I do these every single day. And I will see you then. I hope you have a lovely night. Later, guys.